Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be converting this CSV file I have here to this beautiful dashboard here using just chat GPT. Before now, the only way you can get some insights from a data like what I have here is to import the data into your visualization tool, maybe Power BI or Tableau, and you must have an idea of the visualization you want to build, what insights you want to get out of the data, and you use either of these visualization tool to build it out. But with AI, I'm just only going to do my prompt, tell it what I want and it generates the insights for me and also gives me this beautiful dashboard that I have built with JavaScript and HTML. Well, let's go over to my dashboard. The prompt I'm going to be using in this video would be in the description so you could just pick up the prompt and try it out on your own. And I'm going to be comparing GPT-40 and GPT-03 Mini High. And because I know not everyone has access to the latest GPT model, so we're going to be trying like the base one, the 40. So let me get my prompt. If I go to the prompt just to show you the data, this is the data I have and it's just a sales data. And it goes to all the number, quantity ordered, price, and just to look at the sales and the product actually that is being sold. And this data, I want to get some insight from the data. And the way to do that, I'm just going to take a bit of this data, just to copy maybe the first five rows and the header as well. And I'm just going to copy this just my command C. I come to ChatGPT, I paste this here. I could just remove the screenshots. It's not really needed for what I want to do. And I'll put my column. Then I come here to copy the first prompt I have. In the first prompt, I'm just trying to tell my model to examine the columns and provide me with five key metrics or insights I could track and suggest what kind of visuals or charts that best illustrate those insights. And finally, briefly explain the value of each of these metrics or business performance. So I'm going to copy this. While I run this, I'm also going to go to my GPT-03 and paste this as well. And I click go. The race has started. Well, on GPT-40, you can see I have very, very useful insight. Um, it's going to calculate this total sales revenue, which is, which is quite a good one. And the visualization is going to be a bar chart or a line chart. Good. Average order value, um, yeah, it's going to use a bar chart for that. And it's going to also look at the quantity sold by the product line, which is a good visualization I might be interested in. It's going to give me good insight into how my products are doing. And also the order status breakdown, okay, and the price sensitive analysis. I think this should be a scattered plot. Okay, let's see what O3 is going to give us. Total revenue and sales trends. Um, almost the same thing, order volume, product line performance, and it's going to also do the price analysis. The second prompt is now going to tell them to use these five metrics and build out the HTML JavaScript dashboard. And I'm going to copy this second prompt here and I'll just go to this first one. And just to say that one of the ways to get the best from any LLM is to be able to write very, very good prompt. Be as detailed as possible because you know that this is AI, it's not human. Sometimes it's not able to understand what you actually mean and it could hallucinate. You need to be very, very specific just like I have in my prompt. I try to be as detailed as possible, telling it to include the input file type so I could upload my CSV and pass the CSV in JavaScript and do a couple of things. So I'm going to run this and put this for 40 and also for 03. Good. While that is running, I could come to my Visual Studio code um, to create two files. The first file, um, just text file. I'm going to save as. For this, let me just put it in my download folder. I could call it um, o3 dashboard.html. Good. And I'll come back here and create another one and call this. Let me save for o dashboard.html. Great. GPT-40 has gone ahead to put this in canvas mode. I didn't ask it for this, but it just wants to make my work easier for me. If you're doing this, you could go ahead and kind of preview here, but I don't want to do it here. I want to do it on my own environment. And what I'm going to do is to copy this script and go to Visual Studio Code and paste this on where I have my 
40 dashboard and I'm gonna save and let's come back to 03 copy the code 03 didn't put anything in canvas mode that's fine I come to where I have 03 and I paste this and I save this as well so similarly here I have 40 open so what I did was to go to where my file is and I just double click on the file it opens the file for me the same thing with where I have my 03 file I just open the file and when you double click it opens on your browser and here I have the 40 and I have 03 on the next tab so let's open the file and see how 40 is going to perform I click on 40 I double click on my file this is the sample data file um bro what's going on no place to upload what is happening oh my god this is broken okay let's go to 03 and see if 03 has the same bug interesting so o3 is the bad guy it has given me my very very sweet dashboard you can see all of the insight here just as it said it it has given me the insight and this one i'm able to see um the scattered plot that gives me the price analysis well this is not a perfect visualization for me because if i want to design this i could make a couple of changes to this and but that's not what this video is this video is just to show you the capability it's quite interesting to see how it's able to put each of these into different tiles and kind of arrange it they are not they're not joined together you don't have the other volume going on that the other date of this other visual it's able to segment it properly and put it in a well positioned place and also it's able to um, kind of give the accurate numbers is the accuracy that's quite interesting for instance let's try to validate if these numbers are correct here you have the classic cars and the classic cars you have the total sales the total sales here is about um 3.9 million let's try to confirm this data and i'm going to go to my raw data on my raw data i'm just going to come here and filter Let's filter for classic cars. So I'm going to unselect all and select classic cars alone. And I could come to my, to the sales. And let's just take a sum of this. When you come down, are you going to see the same value here? So the accuracy is quite interesting because it didn't make any of those errors. And if you want to tweak this, you just go back and tweak a few things in the code. Now let's make some adjustment. And I put the last one. I just want to see how to improve the UI a bit. And I don't even know what to do to 40 because the dashboard is broken. Let me try to preview here and see if it's a problem from my end. Cannot preview your code and error happen. Oh, bro. If you try to fix the bug, what happens? So while you're running, let's try to improve the UI of the O3. I'm just going to paste the last code here for O3 and to see what kind of improvement we are. So O3 is already on the improvement of the UI. That is the third prompt that we are using, just three prompts that we have. While 4O is still battling with the previous prompt, which is to actually create the visuals. The created the visual is not working and it's trying to figure out how to fix the problem. Okay, so after wasting my time, it has finally gotten back to me that it's fixed the problem. So let's see what 4O has fixed. I'm going to double click on this. Okay, you have actually fixed it. So let me copy this code now and go to 4O and I'm going to select all and just paste this and I'm going to save. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Um, this is for 4O. Let me refresh this, choose my file, double click. Oh, it's working. But the, the alignment, the arrangement, everything, what, what happens to this space? Um, so that is why you pay more for higher model, I guess. All right. For my last prompt, I've already given the prompt to 03. Let me give the prompt to 40. Yeah, I'm just going to paste this. Let's try to work out your problem. So the big boy has already completed this. Let me just copy this and go to the 03 um, file where I have it. I come to 03. I'm just going to paste this. Save that. Okay. So surprise me now, bro. Refresh. Select my file. Put it here. Mm, looking nice. Um, just a few things out of alignment, but not totally bad. 
and if I'm going to if I'm going to do anything, uh, just a few adjustments. But this is not so bad, and you could go on and kind of tweak this. And if if I want to filter, um, look for orders that are still in progress in in process. Good, the filter works. Resolved, it works. Cancelled. Oh, disputed. How about the one that have been shipped? Cool. Select everything now. So this works. Um, I think somehow this has been fixed. Yeah, the tires are no longer joining themselves. This looks beautiful. And like I said, you could go on and kind of make a tweak to it if you want to. For all is still trying to figure out his life. Let me see what he came up with. Um, bro said he has refined it. So I'm just gonna close this and copy. For all, what have you done? Um paste this save now i'm scared i don't even know what is going to come up if this is going to break so let's refresh he's got a few times oh bro has um i don't understand this insight um let me try the future amazing the future works okay okay well you could try this on your own just play around it and you've been able to see how to use ChatGPT to generate insights from raw data, just CSV data. You could do the same for Excel. You could also use JavaScript if that is how you have your raw data. Just put the correct prompt and tell it this is what you want. And you could even try to allow it to wow you or amaze you. Just tell it, make the UI better, improve the UI. You don't need to put any specifics and see what comes out of it. That's it from here. Try this and let me know in the comment section how that goes. I'm going to be seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.